Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCorry and this is Africa 54. A ceasefire deal between South Sudan and anti-government forces is inching closer to reality. The mediators say that after more than five weeks of fighting that has brought the nation to the brink of civil war, an agreement is set to be signed today in Ethiopia. Among the sticking points to complete a deal was a demand by the anti-government forces to release uh, the release of 11 supporters of former Vice President Rick Machar, who had been detained by the government and accused of attempting a coup. That demand was dropped as a precondition, and both sides have agreed to discuss the issue of detainees on a separate uh, truck. Anti-government forces also demand that Uganda, which admitted to assisting government forces in combat, must leave South Sudan. Delegates at the talk say the ceasefire deal will call for an end to involvement by foreign forces. Well, for some details, we are joined via phone from Addis Ababa by reporter Math van der Wolf. Math, tell us what's happening right now. Just right now, um, the delegations uh, started making assignments and uh, started making statements. The delegations include obviously EGA, the East African bloc that was mediating the negotiations. It includes both the chief negotiators from uh, both the government side and the opposition side, and also other uh, important stakeholders in this peace process, such as uh, the European Union, China, the United Nations, and the Troika. Now, can we say that actually it, we are, or they are in the process of actually signing uh, this ceasefire deal? Well, they haven't picked up the pens yet. They're making statements now to uh, congratulate each other with uh, the progress they have made in the past few weeks. And uh, once everyone has made their statements, then the two agreements will be signed. The one agreement about the cessation of hostilities, meaning that within 24 hours all military action has to stop and that all forces have to stay uh, on the locations that they are. And the second agreement is about the political detainees, meaning that the 11 political detainees will be granted a pardon by South Sudan's President Salva Kiir. Now, we did mention that they will be discussing some other issues on a different track, a different day. Uh, is there any information as to how soon and when? How soon and, uh, how soon and when the political detainees will be released is not sure yet. Yes. Um, only when it comes to a time frame, the only thing that is clear is that uh, cessation of hostilities will, ha will have to happen within 24 hours. Okay, uh, so how, uh, who was there other than the uh, delegates from South Sudan, uh, I mean, uh, rather from South Sudan, both government and uh, those of the opposition? Who witnessed this? Who was witnessing? Sorry, can you say that again? The line uh, which of, which African officials are witnessing this uh, event other than those delegates from South Sudan? Also, Ethiopia's foreign minister, uh, Tedros Adhanom, is here. Um, also, the African Union Peace and Security Council commissioner is present, and um, other uh, EGET delegations. Well, thank you very much, Math. We'll be watching this story, and we'll come uh, to read again tomorrow. Math van der Wolf reporting live from Addis Ababa.